In 2007, the Office of the President created a governmental working group to help the government to implement the GHS. So in two, 2011, the Ministry of Labor uh, and Employment updated the existing regulation. Be there was a, a conflict, a paradox, because uh, they the voluntary standard proposed the GHS as reference. But at the same time, the old uh, regulation on labeling uh, uh, was quite different. So you needed to change that, and the Minister of Labor do, did this task. It, uh, it adopted it was adopted the GHS as reference for classification and labeling chemicals and to elaborate safety data sheet. It's the only legal requirement to apply the GHS in Brazil. Uh, uh, our companies need to apply the GHS based in this ordinance because uh, the Occupational Safety and Health Act allows the Minister of Employment, the Work and Employment, to create a, a system based in international standard. Because GHS is international standard, recognized international standard, the, the, the Minister of Labor updated this ordinance uh, adopting, by adopting the GHS. Because it's very brief and general, it recommends the application of the national standard because it's not an ordinance so detailed. So uh, um, until the government prepare a detailed regulance, uh, regulation or a code of practice or something similar, uh, the company must use the voluntary standard. The problem is because uh, you need to buy this standard. And for small companies, for small and medium-sized companies, it's difficult to buy different standards. Uh, but there are conflicts between the NR26, this ordinance of Minister of Labor, uh, and the existing regulations for classifying and labeling pesticide unsanitizing products. Because for pesticides, the, the legal structure is very similar that was presented uh, before for Mexico. And uh, it's a, a very complex, in, involving the Minister of Agriculture, uh, the Minister of Health, and the Minister of Environment. Uh, probably in the next year, we solve this conflict. According to the ordinance uh, NR26, all chemicals to be used in the workplace must be classified according to GHA. GHS criteria without no reference of building blocks, all bu building blocks. Uh, the classification process can be done by using a tier approach different from pesticide. They demand to, to carry out testing with animals, but uh, to apply the, the GHS, you don't need, you, need, you can use uh, available data. Chemicals that meet the harmonized criteria for physical health or hazard or environment hazards under the GHS must be labeled accordingly, but in Portuguese. Uh, the supplier must prepare and make available a safety data sheet for all chemicals which meet the GHS criteria or the GHS classification criteria, or whose uses give rises to risk to safety and health at workers, again in Portuguese. For example, if I, I, I produce titanium dioxide, for example, it's not classified according to GHS, but in a painting industry, you use titanium dioxide uh, in powder, so you can generate a, a nuisance dust, for example, that need, need to be controlled. So 
for this kind of product, you need to prepare a safety data sheet. The SDS must inform all hazardous ingredients or substances with occupational exposure uh, or substances, ingredients or substances with uh, occupational exposure, exposure limit above the cutoff values established by GHS. For example, if the, the manufacturer must inform the, if the mixture contains, for example, a solvent that, that uh, has a occupational exposure limit, mainly the IACGIIH values, for example, because the, the Brazilian regulations on label is based on these standards. Uh, what is the trends on chemical regulations by the government? Develop specific regulations for industrial substances, but not implement systems similar to REITs. We use uh, we, uh, the, the information provided by REITs, but we don't have uh, enough resources or structure professionals to have a similar system. We try to establish and maintain an inventory of existing chemical substances, but I'm, I don't know, not yet, uh, how to do that, uh, to promote. In, we have the intention to have an, a harmonized classification similar to Europe uh, in order to set prior, prior, priorities to risk management. Expand the GHS regulations with the inclusion of the environment aspects, because the environment aspects uh, are not included in the regulation of Minister of Labor, similar to OSHA here in the United States, and extend its application to pesticides and sanitizing agents. This is a main challenge. Brazil probably will follow the European approach on chemical regulation control but considering, of course, our context and competences. In conclusion, if your company are, has the intention to export chemicals to Brazil, mainly substances, uh, if you have experience on application of GHS and REACH, it's not difficult to meet, com uh, to meet compliance with Brazilian legal requirements in order to place your product in the Brazilian market. So if you have experience, it's easy. You only you need to translate everything into Portuguese. Uh, a specific legal requirements, but at this moment, for some uh, kind of products, chemicals, for example, explosives, pesticides, you, there is a specific regulations that must be f uh, observed so then can constitute a, a trade bar barrier. It's di di very difficult, the, the time required to be approved and a new pesticide is, is, a, is very long.